This is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps, and today we're gonna to go over the Air 200 Solar Powered Aeration Kit. We're gonna show you how to install it, and we're gonna go over some of the best practices to make sure you're maintaining a healthy pond without the use of harmful chemicals. The Air 200 kit comes with all the items you're going to need to aerate your pond with solar. Let's go over those components. The kit comes with two 100 watt solar panels, which are easy to plug together into our solar wires. From there, it goes into our solar controller. That's the brain of the system and operates the pump. There's also 25 feet of wire to go from the controller over to the pump. From there, the power goes to the compressor, providing compressed air down to the aeration stone. The system also comes with other parts you're going to need to install, such as hose clamps and rubber feet to minimize vibrations. Let's go over the major system components and how they all work together. First of all, the sunlight hits the solar panels. That produces electricity, which goes down to our controller here. From the controller, it's connected up to our compressor. The controller drives the brushless motor inside the compressor in order to produce compressed air, which flows through our weighted hose over to our air stone. The diffuser opens up and creates very small holes, which allows the air to escape, go up to the surface. And while it's traveling up to the surface, the oxygen is able to diffuse into the water, creating a nice and healthy ecosystem for plants, animals, and other wildlife in the area. So that's the basics of the entire system. Let's go check out how to install this system over at Spike Ranch. So we've made it out to the scenic spike ranch and for the first part of this air 200 install we're going to hook up our controller to our solar panels and then we're also going to hook up the power cable which goes from the controller over to the air pump now you can see we've come out the night before and we mounted our concrete pipe our two inch post and that's going along with our two panel tilting top of pole mount i'm going to climb up we'll hook that up get our controller mounted on the pole and then run our wire over to our air pump
So we've hooked our solar panels up to our extension wire and we have the pump cable hooked up to our controller. I'm gonna button this up, I'm gonna get the controller door back on and then I'm gonna hook up the solar panels up to the controller. Then we're gonna go run our wire and get the pump hooked up. So we made this nice gravel pad where we're gonna mount our air pump. We've ran our power cable from our controller over here. You notice it's sitting on the surface. We're gonna come back and trench that in about a foot. It's nice because it's direct burial wire, so you can put it right in the trench, or if you like, you can put it in conduit and pull it through. The next step we have is hooking up our air line to our air compressor, and then our air line to our diffuser, and then we'll go ahead and throw it in the pond over there. So our air diffuser is hooked up, but before we put that in the pond, we're gonna do our final electrical connection to the pump. And then we're gonna hook up our inlet air muffler. So in order to do that, we need to take off the red cap. And then just screw it on it. So at this time, I'm not gonna install the rubber feet because we're on this gravel pad. I might come back later, because if it's walking around, we'll add some two by fours, we'll get it mounted down, and then get those bolted in place so it doesn't walk due to the vibrations. Uh, but for now, we're gonna cover it with this uh, artificial rock. That's gonna keep it out of the elements. We don't want this directly in the rain, in the snow, any of that, so we do wanna get it covered. I've drilled a couple of holes at the bottom as vents. I'm gonna see if it heats up too much. If it does, I'm gonna drill a couple more just to make sure we have nice ventilation here so the pump doesn't overheat. Great, so that's all set. Now let's get our diffuser into the pond. So we have the air line in the trench, and now we're gonna get our diffuser out as far as we can into the pond there. Now the boat's in the shop, and so for this one, I'm just gonna have to frisbee it out there. I'll probably fish it up once the boat's out and get it set right in the center where I want it. But for now, I will get it out there a couple of feet to see how it all runs. As you can see, it's a very quick and simple install to significantly improve the water quality of your pond. Now, you might not see an instant change overnight. You're gonna notice gradual changes over time. And if you take a holistic view for management of your pond, this is one critical element, which is aeration. This system is great for people with ponds. It's also great for aquaponics or fish farmers who need to aerate their tanks or their water source. 
If you need one of these aeration systems to help you maintain a healthy pond, there's a link down in the description below with more information and the ability to purchase. If you're not quite sure, feel free to give us a call. We can help walk you through all the various options and make sure this is the perfect system for you. Until next time, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, and we'd really appreciate it if you share it with a friend.